Good morning, everybody. I'm Frida Stauffer. I'm having my morning cup of coffee. Coffee is a hug in a mug. <laughs> Sometimes I just need a, a hug. So I get one in a mug. <laughs> Um, the kids are in, in cyber school today. Supposed to be anyway. I'm just getting water out of my teacher. And I have plans for cooking and baking today. I'm baking a loaf of bread. I got frozen bread from Walmart. And a, a while ago, last month, I went to Walmart and I got uh, some and put it in the freezer because you never know and, and also it, it's not expensive it's it's cheaper than getting a ready-made loaf because I get three and then I get the joy of smelling it bake in the house good for you <laughs> they have they have triumphs and you know cyber school is really hard much harder than in, being in the classroom because at home they have a lot of distractions and at school it's just sitting in the class in front of their teacher so oh um, i'm wishing everyone a cozy day it's a little chilly and cloudy here in Memphis right now. And I'm uh, trying to make a video that's uh, uh, interesting and <laughs> I'm not really doing anything interesting today. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you all will hang out with me and see what's up. This is some bread, frozen bread that I got from uh, Walmart, uh, and I had it in the freezer, so I'm going to thaw and cook one today, bake one, uh, one because um, I want to see how it tastes. This is ready dough. I, I do not know how to make this dough. I mean, I've tried many times and failed, so I'm going, I'm, I have decided it's okay if I use frozen dough, and I'm going to see how it works now. Mom. I'm going to put it in this um, glass pan to, to rise, and then I'll show you how it looks before I put it in the oven. There it is in the glass pan. I sprayed it first with um, cooking spray so it doesn't stick and then we cover it with paper towel so it can stay a little bit on the warm side. My husband got some scalloped potatoes somewhere, frozen ones, so I'm cooking them because my daughter would like to eat some. I don't have no, any idea where my husband got it but he brought uh, some things home. Oh, he had uh, some frozen macaroni too and some frozen cauliflower all uh, with cheese sauce so I'm going to put it in here it's cooked for three minutes so now I'm going to put it in for two more minutes now that I stirred it okay it smells good just like scalloped potatoes and oh, wow it's still a little frozen though I believe it was from Target because Archer Farms is a Target brand. Yeah, that's Target. Tastes delicious. I had to put it in a little bit more because I just tasted a couple of more ice crystals. So, don't know when my husband went to Archer, to um, Target. <laughs> Get all that. 
Okay, it's beautiful and creamy. And there's brown around the edges. Yes, honey. It's ready. It's creamy and lovely. And it tastes really good, just like any scalloped potatoes. You mm -hmm. Be careful, it's hot. It looks like the mac and cheese. Take little bites. Yes, it does. All right. I have a small, tiny Dollar Tree haul. When did you um, go? A couple days ago. Why are you doing it today then? Well, I just wanted to add it into Mom, my video. I got some, uh, a, mag a book about laundry hints and tips from Dollar Tree. Was I need to get this to dollar. Open. Cute dollar. Fine. Okay. What are you doing, sweetie? Go to class. No, no, I'm talking. And I got this uh, Guys, I cut my hair. with a barn. I'm going to put it in my little farm it's cute. It's garage. It's cute. When I find farms, I like to take um, farm pictures in the garage. I found an in shower mask with sea kelp and probiotics. So I'm going to use that when I take a shower. Um, and I found this book that uh, it's in it number, it's Y in a series of, of the whole alphabet. And this is why I have every book up to the Y. And I do not have the Z, but I was happy to find it at Dollar Tree for a dollar. It's, uh, I've been reading this series Mine ever since. I've been uh, reading this series ever since uh, it started in, when I was in a young adult or, or even in, the, in my teens. And uh, the bookmobile used to come to the Midnight Farm. Um, I read, started reading Sue Grafton then. And now I am trying to get the last few so I can finish up the series. If, if they were to convert this into a movie series, I would or an episode uh, based um, show, I would watch them because I, I'm a fan of Sue Grafton. I love her style of writing. It's serious. It's a mystery story series about a private detective. And I, uh, she makes it funny. I giggle at some of the um, imagery she uses. And I really enjoy this book. So originally it was, um, what's the original price? I don't know, 25 or $30 for the original, uh, regular price uh, of these books. And I'm very happy to find it. It's also a New York Times bestseller. So I, I hope one day I'll find Z there. But uh, Muhammad was walking with me in the store. And when we went to the book section, he said, look mom, there's Y. You don't have Y yet. And I was like, Really? I, I thought I had Y, but there it was. So I decided it, I wasn't sure if I still had it, if I already had it or not. So um, Mohammed uh, insisted that he doesn't think I do. So I said, well, it's just a dollar. I'm gonna get it. If I have two, I'll give one away. And when I got home, I did not have it yet. So I'm glad that Mohammed noticed it and pointed it out to me. Mom, anyway, I takis. Thank, I know you want Takis, honey. That just, that doesn't mean you're getting any yet today. Please. Okay, it's 317 and this uh, loaf of bread has been rising since the morning. And now it's uh, thawed and risen and ready to go in at 350 degrees. There is my fresh loaf of homemade bread. Homemade. Smells amazing, made from frozen dough. I'm going to butter the top, and then when it cools a little, I'm going to slice it. All right, I'm buttering the top. You know the oven is still on while we turn it off? Yeah, I'm going to oven off. Okay. This looks good. So, this is how you keep the top of it. You have to put butter on it as soon as it comes out. And then her grandma does it. That's how grandma does it with her rolls. Yes. Grandma does that with her rolls. And that's how I do it with my bread. <laughs> I do it with my rolls too.
You don't <laughs> make any rolls. Yes, I do. Frozen ones. Yeah. Yes, Grandma makes hers homemade from. I Spain. make mine from frozen though. Mm -hmm. He's still homemade. <laughs> hey, Semi homemade at least. So now I'm gonna cover it and let it cool, so that the, it'll be re uh, ready to slice in a few minutes. Okay, I'm slicing, and it's important to have a knife with teeth. When you slice fresh bread, it needs teeth, so it can slice it without smashing it flat. I'm going to eat mine with honey. Wow, look at that. It's amazing. The next time I thaw up a loaf, I'm going to thaw it overnight. And let it rise overnight. Mm. Now, with my grandmother, I used to have honey. I'm looking, do you want to tell on yours? Oh, might be fine. Okay. That's how I'm going to eat my steel warm. Why so much honey? <laughs> it's going to soak in. I usually just like a drizzle. It's going to soak in. Mmm. <laughs> It's just like what I used to eat at my grandmother's house. Mm. Fresh homemade bread with honey on it. Yours is partial. From her bees. Yours is partial. Honey. Yeah. It tastes just like my grandma's. Mm. How old were you when she died? You were born. Yeah. <laughs> My grandma had bees in her own honey. Was it that woman that we went to visit in Ohio? No, that's the other grandma. Um, grandma or Dottie's side? The one that had honey was Dottie's mom. Mm. So the one who died was grandma's? Mm -hmm. mm. The one that you knew, that you met. I remember one time, but... Mmm. Yeah.